Your WNEM TV5 News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A Flint man arrested for making violent threats against a California congressman and the head of the FBI. Now, Neil Walter was charged in federal court facing accusations of leaving a phone message on November 4th for U.S. Representative John Garamendi saying that he was going to die. On November 19th, the FBI says Walter posted comments on Facebook next to a video of FBI Director Christopher Wray threatening to kill him. Walter's parents told investigators that he has a history of mental illness and wasn't getting treatment. Walter will remain in custody at least until a hearing on December 1st. Two senior citizens in Ann Arbor are hospitalized after an electric wheelchair battery caught fire. Firefighters rescued them from their apartment on Monday. They say the lithium ion battery was charging when it went up in flames. It could have been much worse. It's, it's all across the country. Um, New York has had several fatal fires because of it, uh, but a lot for them has been like e-scooters and e-bikes. This is one of the first ones I've heard of a uh, electronic wheelchair. Wow, the senior citizens had smoke inhalation, no ward on their current condition. Meanwhile, the Ann Arbor Fire Department says the apartment has about $200,000 in damage. Several other residents have also been displaced because of water damage. Well, police in Saginaw County's Thomas Township encouraging children to write letters to Santa and to bring those letters to the municipal building on Miller Road between December 1st and the 19th. They promise that Santa will write back. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. And we are tracking some pleasant weather for this Wednesday. Temperatures already into the 40s at this lunch hour. We'll even see some temperatures right near that 50 degree mark farther south by this afternoon. But upper 40s for the Tri-Cities, lower 40s north. Even up north, though, you aren't seeing middle 40s or even upper 40s. That's still warmer than the last couple of days. We'll stay dry all the way through the afternoon, too. Plenty of sunshine is expected. By the overnight hours, we are first alerting you to that chance for some patchy fog, just like we've seen this morning and on Tuesday morning, too. But any fog that Forms and doesn't look to be too dense or too thick. And once we get into your Thursday, still expecting dry weather during the daytime, although some of those showers will be trying to knock on our door by around dinner time. I am expecting most of this to start up after dinner, mainly just after sundown on your Thursday. Just some spotty to scattered showers that'll come to an end pretty quick early on Friday morning. And it looks like by Friday afternoon, we're already back to some sunshine. So for your Thanksgiving forecast, temperatures have been trending upwards 48 degrees, mostly cloudy. Again, those scattered showers moving in right near dusk. The wind stays light out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. We actually carry more 40s all the way through the Thanksgiving holiday too. Our next best chance of rain after Thursday night is going to be Saturday night into Sunday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.